Yo, what is good, y'all? It's your boy Top back here with the, with another video, guys. And in this video, we will be reacting to YBC's top 100 players in NBA 2K20. My team. Now, this is a long video, so this was going to be broken up into two parts, just like my last reaction to DBG's video, guys. So, part one will be ranking the 100 uh, to 50 range, and then in part two, we'll be ranking 49 to one. Um, guys, YBC, you know, he's a very he's he's a pretty good player in NBA 2K20. My team. So his opinions are you know take that take what his opinions are but also take my opinions that's why i react to these videos because i want you guys to know how i feel about each of these cards guys i already know me and ybc disagree on a lot of things so this ought to be a very very interesting video before we get started huge shout out to ybc the link to his channel will be down in the description so make sure to go check him out and let's hop right to the video here we go here we go video right here and getting up cards from two canty central sites so Diving straight into it right here at number 100, guys. We do have this pink diamond, Miles Turner. Now, I'm going to watch a few of these before I pause the video. Because Miles Turner, I, I don't know. He could be a top 100 player. But I'd have to see more players and who he puts above and, you know, below Turner players. Right I, here. I can't. Now, Miles Turner defensively, I would say, is a top 15 defensive slash top 10 defensive big man in the game. On top of that, I'd say is a top 15 right. Miles Turner card right here. If he's not Miles Turner defensively, I would say... Doesn't he have like an 80 a speed? Top 15 defensive slash top 10 defensive big man in the game. On top of that, guys, he's a great pickup. Now, YBC, I'm not, try I'm not trying to hate at all, but I mean, he, he only has eight defensive badges on top Hall of Fame. Right I mean, here. Barely making this list right here coming in at number I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Next up right here at number 99, we have this diamond. Lafonso is pretty good. Right here, and I'm He's not pretty gonna good. Lie, guys, I've not really used this card much, but I've seen other people use it, and I have, I have played up against them, and this dude right He's here. He's pretty good. Lafonso is good. And we do move along right Depends here. Depends what your like. team's Thank you for really putting Covington. The only reason why this card right here is making this list is because of his defense. His defensive attributes right here. He's incredible on defense. This card is incredible on defense. Incredible. Here incredible. Immaculate. His body frame on a court, guys, is great as well. He's incredible. So especially when it comes to him slashing, he does struggle. He, he does. He can't dribble, dribble the ball. This guy, this guy can't dribble the ball. Moving on to card number 97, guys. He is this Diamond Paul Westfall card right here. He is another one of those. Now I'm mad Paul Westfall is above Roko. I'm already one mad. Behind glitching animations and jumper and drill moves that only Paul Westfall has. I mean, he's, like when I describe Alfonso Ellis, I mean, Sam, well, I'm gonna describe I can't be mad, though. I can't be mad. The only thing holding this card back right here from being higher he's six four. is the fact that he is 6'4". Yeah, he's 6'4". Six four. Six four. We're not going to be getting that many 6'4". He's 6'4", six four, six yep. Below yep, that hurts him a lot. It does. We do move along right here, guys, to number 96. We have this. Diamond Kevin Porter Jr. Has the exact same base of a jump shot as J.R. Smith, and he... I mean, I can't be mad, but I'm taking Covington over KPJ. He is I mean, I can't be mad, though. Guys, great drill moves, and with that J.R. Smith jumper, guys, he is hard to guard offensively. I haven't Dude, used KPJ in forever. We have this Diamond Cam Reddish card right here. He is a... Cam player. Reddish at 95 and Covington at 98? That's tough. That's pretty low. That's pretty low. Especially for Cam Reddish. Especially. Especially. I like both the cards, but Cam Reddish, a lot more people like Reddish than Covington. Yeah, he's incredible. Cam Reddish, and his animations are incredible. His Cam Reddish is good. At number 94 right here, we have this pink diamond Dino Raja card right here. And the only thing holding this card back right here from being high up on this list no range. is him not having rain extended. Yeah, absolutely. This card right here is He's got a great time. release. He's but good. But at this stage of the game, considering all the big men that have rain extender, guys, you mm -hmm. need rain extender to be a higher up than number 94 Fair enough. on this list. But even fair though enough. he does not have rain extender, guys, this card right here is... Fair enough, YBC. All right, fair, fair enough. enough. Yep, you we do move along right here, guys. The card number 93. I do have this Galaxy Opal John Morant. Again, as I mentioned, there's not going to be many six foot three or below card making this list, but John Morant. Now, I'm trying my best not to be biased. But John Morant is not better than Cam Reddish. Now, I'm not trying. You guys can play me in the comments if you want. Guys, had to make this That's right the here. truth. 2K juice him up a ton when it comes to the attributes. And bash count wise, guys, he's incredible. He's now, six he's foot three. Guys. What is he doing on the core, the man? Guys, he does come with arguably the easiest release to green in the entire game. We do move a lot of card number 92 on this list. I have this Galaxy of Beret Allen card right here. I'm taking a look at the Now, I, I know I'm pausing the... Okay, if, it, if he's evoed, okay. Now, if he's evoed, yep, right okay. 
and also badge count wise as well. He now, if he's evoed, I'm not arguing this. I'm not arguing this if he's evoed. His card back from being up on his list is because honestly, guys, he's six you know, five. He doesn't have great dribble list. six. Cards higher up on his list, even, even though his card right here is updated and has a lot of great. Attributes. Okay, I don't mind that. I don't mind that. I don't mind. Good. 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 I like this. I like that YBC. His nickname is Sugar Ray. I think Sugar Ray go crazy. Moving on to card number 91 right here. We, we do have this Pink Diamond Joe Caldwell card. He is a six foot five. Personally, I, I like Cam Reddish and Ray Allen way more than Joe Caldwell, but that is my and opinion. Even though Ray Allen has way better attributes and a lot more, is much, much better than Ray Allen. Joe Caldwell, guys, disagree. Has a lot more than Ray Allen. On top of that, guys, he has that base 98 Dwayne Wade base. I disagree. Which is super hard Not to say Caldwell is bad, but I just disagree. Card right here, we do have this Pink Diamond LeBron James. This Pink Diamond LeBron James card right here is great because he can dribble glitch. Pro 8. And he is a LeBron James at that point guard position. Six foot eight. Higher up on his pro list. 8. But honestly, game guys. Alright, right, I know what LeBron, LeBron can do. He, LeBron he don't have... He's okay, though. Right at number 89 right here, I do have... This oh, no. Card. Ew. Pierce, even though he's used to a ton with 46 Hall of Fame badges. How is he better than Reddish or, you know, any guy? Like, come on, badges. man. And today, Paul Pierce. I don't feel like animation-wise and jump shot-wise, this card right here He's terrible. He is terrible. Compared to other in a game. He's not good. Richard's decent. Uh, he's decent enough to be up there. He's a lot better. Richard's a lot better than Paul Pierce. He's a lot better than Paul Pierce. Moving on to card number 87. I got my boy, Galaxy Oboe. Irvin. Now I'm a big, big fan of this card. Some people... That's tough, though. That's tough. I mean, we're still we're still in the same range, so I don't see anything blatant. Um, that's tough. Like though. Him, but I do like him, guys. He's, he's good. He's team. definitely good. He just he has he only has gold range, which hurts him a little bit. Six he's six that hurts him a little bit too, especially when you compare to like Cam Reddish. At number 85 right here, I got my boy, Gallo Silva. That's Good me. lord, and only, YBC. And I mean, only thing holding this card back right here from being higher up on this list is the badge of Unpluckable. This card right here does not have Unpluckable. unpluckable. Good if lord. I mean, on him, guys, be Zach Levine is just... Getting flux and he, a lot of he's, not he's not it anymore. He's not it anymore, guys. I promise you, Zach Levine. Now. 85 is fine, though. 85 is fine. Move along right here, guys, to number 84. I got Who's 84? Guys, King Diamond, Walter Davis. And the reason why Walter Davis... I'm fine with this. I'm fine with this. I'm fine with this. I'm fine with Walter. I'm fine with this. I like Walter, though. I do like Walter a lot. That's fine with me. Tatum is trash, man. As we do move on to card number 82, we have this Steven Jackson right here, Galaxy Opal. He is essentially pretty much the exact same card. As Jason Tatum, both six foot eight, both play the shooting guard position, both have similar bash count. I don't love either of them. I'm not gonna lie with you. I know DBG loves Jackson, but okay, I can't even see his steel tendency. And I know a lot of people do like Amari. I do not. I do not like this card at all. At all. I do not like this card. I don't. Super easy guys and bash count wise form right here. I do not like Amari. That's my opinion, though. So we're already to 80. So far, it's okay. Yeah, he did. He's lost, man. He's lost. Eddie Curry's at 80. So let's 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 do the math here. That's like a top 15 center. That's tough. That's tough. He's this low. I want to see who's higher, though. I can respect it as long as I see who's higher. My boy James Worthy right here is coming at number 79. I like this card a lot. James Worthy. Personal preference, I like Diamond Covington over this card. Personal preference. You want to say that. It's personal preference. He's really not that good. Only a 51 on ball. Still yeah, defensively, he's not that good. I mean, what is he going to do for you? We got my boy Pink. I'm not going to be high up on this list. So coming in right here, moving on to number 78. We got my boy Pink. I was unsell my clone, R.I.P. West. I like this card a lot. Six yeah, foot seven. Big, rip, big ribs to West, man. Big ribs. Prayers out to his family, man. Right here, guys. 39 Hall of Fame badges, 29 gold badges. Juice up a ton. Unsells at what? Like 79? At all in this card. He is great. He is, he's good, right he's 6'7". Oh, Mark Gasol, good lord. Give me Eddie Curry every day of the week over Mark Gasol. Mark Gasol is terrible. 
He's awful. A bona fide scrub. He, he's terrible, man. He can't play. No disrespect whatsoever. Honestly, Get him off my screen. I can't really say much more than that. That is literally what this card is. He's terrible. Well, Just guys, move on. He's terrible. No, he's terrible. We have King Diamond James Wiseman. This card right here is the Wiseman's a lot better than Marcus Solo. I wouldn't say he's nearly just as good because he's missing a lot of badges on Hall He's of like, he's basically, this is, him and Eddie Curry are like so Best close. It's, right it's so close. Gold range, water gals, stud, and one of the best Pink Diamond cards. He is good. Game. Excuse good. me, guys. That Pink Diamond James Wiseman card was number 76. And we do move on to card number 75. We got my Golden State Warrior, Galaxy Opal, Draymond. I do like Draymond a lot. I do. I promise you I like Draymond a lot. Green. Is that right there, I like Draymond a lot. going to hold this card back. Is his jump shot? It seems like he I don't even mind his, his jump, jump shot, honestly. On, I really don't. Outside of that, he is great defensively. You guys already know Draymond. No great. problem with where Draymond's at. I like Draymond a lot. Defensively, he is a great card all around. I like Draymond. Not uh, arguing that. A very similar card was unsell, so I kind of had to put this Draymond card right here in the range. Of the I like the going. exact same card. I don't even know who I prefer. I really don't. Do I know that most people probably prefer unsell, but I like Draymond more than most people. Number seventy-four. We got this Galaxy Opal. Oh, Tom. good lord! Why is he on the list? Clay Tom. He is not better than Cam Reddish. I promise you, Dribble Six Cam Reddish is way better. Cam Reddish is an inch taller. Cam Reddish has basically identical defensive stats in those stat categories that matter. Give me Cam Reddish ten times out of ten. There's nothing he can do. His release isn't even good, in my opinion. But unless those guys being six foot seven with a great body frame. That being said, moving on to card number ninety three. Excuse me, seventy three. We got Golden State Warrior, and he is my boy Galaxy O'Bondre. Iggy is so, so much better like, than Clay. It's him not and, even him and debatable. Clay are very similar cards. No, Iggy is so much better. This Iguodala right here does have better than Clay in, and only reason why he's so much better. All the advantage over Clay. He's so much better. Exactly. On ball steal tendencies, we do take a look at Clay's right here. Clay tendency is a seventy four. That's that ten points in that category is big. That's huge. Anyways, Iggy also has fifty Hall of Fame badges in fifteen. I mean, he has a lot more badges as well. I mean, he really does. Also, also, plus ten badges. Iggy, Iggy's better. Iggy's better. Iggy's better. Number seventy-two. We have this pink diamond out of position. Giannis. He's good. He is Giannis. He is great. But the only thing holding holding this card back right here is his position, and he does not have range. No range. But if you play him at center, he's fine. He does. He does not have range. Playing shooting guard, you know, on the hash, really, it's kind of tough. You can play him at center. Being Giannis, six foot eleven, it's still tough because there are tacos and seven foot. He's fine. So his position with him not having range. He's fine at center. He's got 95 strength. He's fine. Be great. One, we have another Golden State Warrior. This time it's a Golden State Warrior legend. Oh my, Chris Mullen. Why is he on the list, man? And he is Gallo Silva, Chris Mullen. Not a lot of people like this card. Not a lot of people like this. Because he's because he's terrible. But I love this card. He has one of the easiest jumpers to green in the game, and he is extreme. I'm sk I'm skipping it. Otherwise, I'm gonna get mad. Covington. With T Covington and Reddish are so are better than him. Whoa! We got Gallo Silva, Eddie Jones coming at number seventy. How can Eddie Jones even be comparable to Chris Mullen? Eddie he's, Jones is so he's much, much better. Exact same card as I swear, if Kobe's above Eddie Jones, I'm going to be mad. Except Eddie Jones is a much better card. Eddie Jones is so Eddie good, Dolls. man. We're on a card number sixty-nine. We're now into the seventies. We have this Gallo Silva, Jared Wallace. Jared Wallace Again, is he's good. Cards Eddie Jones cards and Gerald like are close. Except Jared Wallace has a much better body frame. And it would all, in my opinion, and also, guys, body better body frame than Eddie Jones as well. So I'm above both of them. We do move forward right here to card number 68. We have this Gallo Silver Andrew Wiggins. Wiggins is good too. I like all these and cards together. Guys, I like Wiggins a lot too. Wiggins is good. Together. He's good. And 100 driving as well, guys. All these cards are way above Kobe, so Kobe better not be above these cards. I'm fine if Kobe's not on the list, but he should not be above any of the last three cards. Next up right here, card number 67. We have. You're telling me Rudy Larusso is better than Andrew Wiggins? He's better than Eddie Jones. Look, 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 look. YBC, with all due respect, how could a card with Kareem's jump shot be as good as those cards? I'm just asking. I don't mind Kareem's jump shot at center, but at shooting guard, no chance. Let's hear. This Gallo Silva, Rudy Larusso card. He's 6'8", but that's all he, he is. He is very similar to Kobe Bryant in terms of his jump shot and animation. 
and his jump shot. He's a six foot eight shooting guard with juiced up attributes and badges. He's, like I said, similar to Kobe. He is a stud. We do move along right here. He is not a stud. He is. Listen. No. No. Card number Just no. Six, we got this Galaxy Opal buzzer beater Kareem. I'm glad Kareem's above Eddie Gur Eddie Curry in, in cards like that. I'm gl I'm glad. Kareem is a great defensive big man. He's, He's incredible. Guys, and that right there was holding him back from being higher up on this list. He's incredible. He can't really shoot that well. Only a 79 three point shot. And when it comes to the bash count, and he can't speak boost as well. Bash count right here, guys. He does not come with many shooting guys. He's fine well. though. He's, he has he's more guys. I would put him higher up on this list. Kareem's the man with the plan. He really is. We got this Galaxy Opal Player of the Month. You got Wilt above Kareem? <laughs> I mean, this is really funny. I am, I'm amused by this. This is comical to me. Y'all gonna get me stirred on up. Wow. Now, this video was made four days ago, so, you know, some of the newer cards might not be in here. But, wow. Award card. Wilt. I'm taking Kareem over Wilt Chase. 10 times out of 10. Cream, they're great. And I mean, great defensive big man. But when it comes to this Wilt card right here, Bash right here, he does not. He, he does come with some pretty good shooting badges, but his jump Cream's is better. Cream is way better than Will. Extremely hard to get. I, I don't mind Will. We do move along right here to card number sixty-four. We got this King Diamond Paul George from the Leaper promo. This card right here is a stud, but again, let, let, just let me take a moment to realize that how is Paul George ranked above Andrew Wiggins? I like Paul George. I do. I like Paul George a lot. But when you compare Paul George. To Andrew Wiggins. I'm taking Andrew Wiggins 100 times out of 100. And similar to some other cards like Amari Sandermeyer, he got lost in the sauce due to some of the Galaxy Bulls and other cards coming out. He's so outdated. He's a version of Cam Reddish, I will say that, and he is one of the best pink diamond cards in the entire game. At number 63 on my list, I have this Galaxy Bulls. AK's Opal good. Flash, Andre King and Lico card. I he's very good. He's a great defender. The gold he's quick draw hurts him, but he's good. He's great, great jump shot as well. He has base 11 and juiced up attributes. He's good. Guys. Ooh, he's, he's putting Josh Smith above AK. Ooh, whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, 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 whoa, 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 whoa. Similar, but I, I still think Andrew Wiggins, Eddie Jones should be higher. If these guys are here, I, I think they Cards, should be. I'm giving the advantage to Josh Smith over Karen Lingo because of Josh Smith's body frame Ooh. and the fact that he can defend all five positions. I don't think Karen Lingo can guard the center position. Why? I'm confident that Josh Smith is there in the game. Perimeter Why can't AK? AK? He is insane. At number 61 right here, we got this Gallows Global okay. Dave Cohen's card. I feel like he is a combined version of Josh Smith. And I mean, I guess. I guess, but I don't... Does he have Hall of Fame range? He might. He, he might have Hall of Fame range. If he has Hall of Fame range, guys, I have nothing to say. He has goes base 11, jumper base. So, therefore, we got... I don't know if he has half range. Though. That's why I think... A, that's why I think I'm giving the nod to AK. Really is. Above at number 60 right here, we got this Galaxy Opal Luka card. And I think this Opal Luka card is great, but the only thing holding it back right here, guys, is his defense. His dribble six, more than anything, I don't care about his defense. His dribble six are absolutely disgusting, but his jump shot is nice. I'm fine with Luka here. I don't mind Luka that much. I really don't. But still, though, basic. I don't mind Luka. I don't mind him. I, li I like him more than most people do. I really do. At number 59 right here, we got this Galaxy you put Taco Fall above Kareem. Let's think of this. Hold on. Let me think. How? Let's explain. Double Taco Fall card. Once he is fully evolved, guys, he does come on gold. It doesn't right now, matter. And he is He's got 70 speed. A cheesy glitch standing at 7 foot 5. Moving forward to card numbers. No. Taco Fall should not even be on this list. I'm done. And 90, that's excuse it. me, 58. I don't know why I keep on saying 90s. 58 right here, we got this Galaxy Opal Jerry Lucas That's card. That's fine. He's fine. I love fine. this card a lot, but he is kind of underwhelming, guys. I'm not going to lie. He's fine. Base 98 isn't that cheesy. Base it's base good. Base his jump shot's good. good. That's not his problem. It's his defense. Guys, even he's his defense is nine. the problem. He low That's the like big... 6'7 six 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 is probably what right. he feels like for me. 58. Moving forward to card number 57, we got this Galaxy Opal Bill Russell. I love this Bill Russell card a lot. He is a top... I'd probably say top 5 defender in the game. And I think he can defend all five... You need to relax, okay? Because here's the thing. He doesn't have a high on-ball steel tennis. Just relax just a little bit. You can't give him Hall of Fame Rennington. His, of his, his release is gross. We got this Gallus of Brandon Roy. He has that Trey Burke slash. Really? Evo Brandon Roy is better than Eddie. I mean, I can't argue it because I like Brandon Roy a lot. But I still think I'd take Andrew Wiggins over this card. I still think I'd take Eddie Jones. But it's close. It's close. It's close. What is Evo? It's close. And he did just get evolved the other day, so he does come with like around 50 ish Hall of Fame. Back. Yeah, he does. He's good. So you move forward to card number 55. Got, we got Gallus of RJ Hampton. It's RJ Hampton card right Wow, here. RJ's this high. As Brandon Roy. RJ's that high. Hampton because he can't play the point guard position. 
and I really enjoy That's fair it. enough. RJ's good. RJ's good. I still think, though, Eddie Jones and Wiggins are getting slept on. Especially Wiggins, man. Wiggins is good, man. Wiggins is good, man. And I feel like RJ Hampton also dunks more. Tennessee Wise, guys, I feel like he just dunks more in games than Roy. He's better on defense. RJ's way better on defense. Dunking Wise, and he can play the point guard position while Roy cannot. So, yeah, moving on now to card number. 54. We got Gallo Seobo, Steve Smith. Stevie, my boy! He's incredible, man. Same Steve's incredible. Of a base, similar bash count right here. I like this card a lot. He's Steve's incredible. Next up at number 53, I got this Gallo Seobo, Jimmy Butler card right here. He you got him at 50 something? I, I love this card, man. This card would be top 40 for me at least. I love him. I love Jimmy. I love him. I love Jimmy, man. I love him. No chance JR is better than Jimmy Butler. Come on, man. JR is not better than Jimmy or or Andrew Wiggins. JR would be 80 plus for me. No. 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 He becomes a lockdown elite defender. Pretty much nine out of everything. He's six foot he's six. Like no. Once he, once he is evolved, I love this card. His dribble stakes aren't good enough to run him at point guard. Jumper. You can zigzag a lot behind screens. He's six foot six. You can zigzag a lot. And he can't play point guard. I've used, I played one guy that knew how to use JR well. One guy. In my history. I said it a lot, and I will say it again. I like this card a lot. We got my boy Hello Jello Iso Mello right here at number 51. And the only reason why I'm giving the advantage to Mello over Jar Smith is because Mello is taller. And he is a nice green. Okay, D. okay. Compare Carmelo to Jimmy Butler for me, please. Card as well. If Jar Smith and Mello were the same height, Jar Smith would, would be above Mello. But and yeah, Jar Smith's and player model is not bad. I'm taking I'm taking Jimmy Butler way over Carmelo Anthony because he can shoot corner threes. I like Mello though. I, I do like Mello more than most video. people. I have this Gallo oh, good lord. Good lord. That, 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 that is blasphemous. How, please help me explain how this card is better than Jimmy Butler. I did a game plan on this card and he can't do anything on offense. He is six foot six. The Butcher card, and I love this card a ton. Oh my goodness, the love I have for this card is insane. His tendencies, guys, is so cheesy. That okay, you're right. His on-ball steal tendency is a 95. That is extremely, extremely good. But isn't RJ Hamptons a 90? And RJ Hampton can actually do something on offense. Jimmy Butler has a decent enough steal tendency. I think it's 80s, if I'm if I'm correct. And at six foot eight. I'm not. 95 on-ball steal tendency, 95 take charge. The thing is, this. You, hold on. 95 take. Did guys, he just say take charge so tendency? Let me easy. let me hear. 95 on ball tendency. 95 take charge. 95 pass deception. I don't care about his take charge tendency. The take charge tendency is awful because when somebody hop steps, they just stand there. You know they're trying to take a charge when the guy doesn't even have his. Don't get me started about the take charge tendency. Dave DeBusschere for me would be 80s or below. Cam Reddish is better than this card. You can get steals with, get steals with this card without even pressing any buttons. 95 shot and 95 block shot contest tendency. This dude right here. Oh my gosh. I love this card a lot. And attribute wise as well. Badge card wise as well. He's, he's good at that attribute wise. He's fine with badges. He is. But the thing is, offensively, what is he doing for you? What is he doing for you on offense? I really don't know what else to say about this card right here. He's kind of like one of those non name branded cards. He's not good. I do like non name brand, whatever. He is not good. I'll be honest with you. Andrew Wiggins is so much better than this card. It's not close. No. I don't mind Mikael. All right, this is gonna be the last card for last last card for part one. This is this is forty nine. So this is this is gonna be the last card. We'll go we'll go to forty nine. And this card right here does have Randy Stetter, unlike Dino does not have. Now, also, another thing I like about this Kevin McHale card right here is his jump shot. His jump shot yeah, is nice. I'd probably say this card right here has a, has a top five big man jump shot in the Yes, I will agree. It's incredible. And on top of that, no, guys, he has it's a good. big man like Dino's where it's touching his ankle area. This card right here I love a lot, and it's coming at number 49. Now, YBC's, it, it started pretty good, but then I didn't have anything to compare it to. And then until Dave, I saw Dave DeBusschere, and I was like, oh, Yikes, okay. 
Wiggins, Eddie Jones, both need to be hired. Cam Reddish should be hired. Cove should be hired. Um, that's really my takeaway. Not a terrible, um, not a terrible first 51 players. Really, I think it's 51 is what we did. Not terrible. Is it great? No, but it's not terrible. I right, know that is going to wrap it up for part one of my reaction to YBC's top 100 players in NBA 2K20. I hope you guys did enjoy the video. Guys, part two will be that link down below in the description when it does come out. But hey, you guys want part two? Smash that like button. Let's see how many likes we can get on this video. If you guys want a part two, you guys got to show me. Show me show me that you like these reactions um, and that you guys specifically like the reaction to YBC's video for a part two, guys. Like I said, I hope you guys did enjoy the video. As always, man, I love y'all and have a blessed day.